Before we learn about for loop, first we learn about sequences. What is a sequence? A sequence that in Python is a collection of items in an order. String, string is also a sequence. What is inside a code is a sequence when you press run. So you see in screen text Python and Python in sequence P, Y, T, H, O and in sequence. Here there is another sequence close by a square brackets and and code with single quotes. This sequence is all the list we should learn lists about in next next of our videos. Now we know about what are the sequences are. Now let's go back to our main topic for loop. Let me first tell you about loops. What are loops? A loop is a programming construct that allows you to repeat a block of code multiple times. Python support for and while loop loops for different types of, of iteration. In a previous video I will teach you about while loop. If you don't see it the video the video of while loop I will I'll give the link in the description below. Wait so so here here you can see my dis my description. Let's get started with, with for loop. What is for loop? For loop it reads our sequence is our key a list. I should teach about it reads sequence and a list. So here I should give you an example of our list for loop text equal Python we should write print we should write this code like that but now we can't write this now now here we should write I should move it right now to so it look good so now I should write here I should remove this and set for item in text now print item I run it so now you can see it is in separate line in separate mode now for item in text item return it and in so this return this and this is text text is python now you can know how for loop works now here you can do any other variable called language here it's a variable and here it's also the language so language and language is printed and here text language language is in text text is equal pattern so languages is languages and it's a variable variable is text this text is for contact this and this is python so now you know about variables and for loops now let's talk about looping through a list suppose we have the list of languages like this now here i should write for language in languages so colon and print language when I press run so it's language in for language in language press run so it's a python rest and C++ is printed because I write four language that all is in separate I should 
cover it in square brackets and and write it in single quotes. Now we use range function. What is in previous video I will teach you about while loop. In this video you if you see it you should know how to write a number in range 1 to 10 so that's how we write a number in number range in for loop so now see a, that's a c a quote now here i should write so count a little code of now i write a code of while loop count equals Uh, equal this zero print oops you guys right while count less than five so print Let's run. Oops. Print count. Count equal count plus one. When I press run, so it said count is five. So now I should write ten here. When I press run, should run ten times. Now here I should. It is. The code now here I should use same function in for loop. For for count in count in range. So range one eleven. So print count when I press run. So it print ten time and print print ten time. It connect with this. It connect with this. I will teach you previous video about while loop. So we not need that. So when I press enter, so it count ten time. Because it connect contact with the count in for loop. So which was in range of one comma eleven, of from one to eleven ten. Because when we were at nine in previous video. I will teach you about why loop it count only ten times or ten times. I write ten so it count only nine times so so that's why we write eleven. To count in range how much range it is. So here I said eleven so count is over zero. So I should write right count is forty five so my person is not printed so I write seven forty five. No it's no zero is not printed here now. Now here I have a strong so it is So now when I write int int input enter uh, number. So I press run. So the current number said the current number like five. So it said five times not printed. You should write here a five time. Right in here. And input whatever. So I press run. What happened? Let's check it. Oops. Now here I should run it and here I should write 0 and press enter it's because I write 1 so it's 0. Now it's work. Now let's again run and write 6 and here I should write 12 and press it. Yes, it works. It works. Now here I should write enter. No, I should copy it. And, oh, I have a thing. Now here I should paste it here and press run. So here I should write 4 and here I should write 32. 
now here it is printed from 0 to 32 now it's running it for see if we don't try it what happened oh well, yes it is it. so we should always write here 0 and center so here we write and then uh, it printed that much time so now you can see we use range function inside it we use input function too I am now a new thing to the cube now you can see the range function work we should learn about Python range function in our future videos so Please like and subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the like and for our more videos that you can see. One thing I can't tell you that when you uh, about count because we do not see that if we comment it out so it doesn't give us an error because count is a four for each four loop function so it is like five so it's a five four times per day we do not take count but now we need number for multiplication table number 4 now say for count in range how many times before to count 1 comma 11 how many times so here I should write print count no I don't write print count so I should write number oops where is it Result result equal number multiply by count. So here I should write number number whatever we are here we write multiply count multiply equal sign and here we write this that so let us run so the right number I should write right number 8 right number 5 is that 5 yes 8 times 8 a table of 8 that it is a table of 8 and this is 5 times it is so now we like again run and set 1000 times 1000 times yes 1000 oops okay so here i set a table of 10 and it write with 1000 times when i run it says it write a table of 1000 times the answer is 999 because 990 because because it is the last number so now here it make a beautiful multiplication table before we end this video here's a programming task for you can you create the program to find the sum of number from 1 to 100 the output should output should be look like this 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 blah 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 and 98 the plus sign is written and in all of this so if, if you find the output please comment us and tell us how we make our videos so in next video we will look at break and continues if you like my videos and want to see more so please like and subscribe to our channel and do not forget to hit bell icon if you want any help from our channel so please comment us we will always help you and always get your service so I have a production